Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your phone to your Samsung Smart TV. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. Now there's a couple different ways you can connect your smartphone to your TV. The first way I'm gonna show you is how you can use this application developed by Samsung themselves to send your media files to your TV. So if you have a picture, you wanna quickly display it on your screen, you can go ahead and do that. If you have a video file, you can do that, or music. And the other way I'm gonna show you is how you can go ahead and completely screen mirror your phone to your TV. So if you wanna see your phone screen on your TV, you're gonna be able to go ahead and do that. So the first thing you wanna make sure is you have your TV connected to the Wi-Fi you're gonna be using your phone on. So make sure you go to menu, then go down to network, and then go to network settings here and go through this process. Go to start and connect to your wireless router. Okay, so here is my phone. Let's go to the Play Store and select this. Now we're going to want to type in smart things at the top. So type in smart things, go to search. And this is the new smart view application. It's called smart things. It's developed by Samsung themselves. So let's go ahead and install it and open it. And with smart things, if you have multiple devices in your home and you want to connect them all to like one application. So if you have uh, one of those devices that, you know, connect to your Wi-Fi and they turn on the lights in your house when you go ahead and press stuff or you have a Samsung fridge or washing machine or even like a soundbar or a TV, you can connect all those devices to this one application. So it's a little bit um, intimidating at first learning it, however. All right, so with the application now open, let's go to the plus icon and add a device. So let's go to device and let's go to TV, which should be at the bottom. And let's go to Samsung and then let's press TV. So my phone is connected to the internet right now too. And my TV is connected to the internet. Let's go to start. And then my location will be my house, and then the living room will be the location I have set up in. Go to next, and now it's gonna go ahead and search for my TV on the Wi-Fi. All right, so it looks like one device has been found. Let's select my TV. So my TV will appear in the list of directly connected devices. Let's press done. So my TV is now directly connected to my phone. Let's go back to the application now. And if we scroll down, directly connected devices is listed on the bottom and I can connect to my TV now. So when I bring up this application, I can select the media button right here. And if I go to, let's go to a video. So let's select this video and go to done. And so we're gonna go ahead and process. All right, so here is a video of me going for a walk on a trail in the area I live. And uh, it's going to be very easy to go ahead and just press it and then it'll play on your TV. So that was a short little clip. So other than videos, I can go ahead and send pictures. So let's go to an image. I can put an image on my screen very easily too. By going to images, I can just select images. Let's find one to put on the screen. So here is my backyard. I took an image of the moon coming through the trees. So very easy to display on my TV. It's a little bit dark. Uh, here's one I did yesterday. I like this image. This is probably my favorite one. So the other way that you can use your phone to like pretty much screen mirror everything is by using the Smart View application on your phone that's already like installed on the phone by default. So let's zoom in on my phone. I'll show you how to get to that. Now it doesn't work on my TV setup right now for some reason but it may work on yours. I think it's only on TVs that were made after 2016. So I have my phone and what I'm gonna wanna do is scroll down from the top and scroll completely down and then go over to the next page. And then there will be something called Smart View. Now I mentioned the Smart View application. That was an old application before Smart Things came along where you had more features you could actually screen mirror right in the app, but now they have it on um, Android by default through one of these settings. So if I select Smart View, I can go ahead and connect my phone to other devices or other devices to my phone. So 
They're both going to have to be connected to the Wi-Fi network. And once the device is found, it should display in here just like the SmartThings application. So for some reason, I'm thinking my TV is just too old. My TV is from 2011. If you have newer TV, it should display in here. And then you just have to select it and you'll be able to screen mirror your entire phone to your TV very easily with this application. Otherwise, if you have an Amazon Fire Stick or a Google Chromecast, you can use those to go ahead and screen mirror to your TV as well with your current phone. So if this video did indeed help you out connect your phone to your Samsung Smart TV, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.